What's going on guys? I'm gonna go for the longest skate of my life today. We're gonna try to hit 18 miles. My longest skate so far has been 16. The only thing that's been a real challenge so far in these marathon trainings is just not having the right place to really train. I live in an area that's not super hilly, but it's there is still a lot of hills. Keeps me in this valley almost. That and cars, pedestrians, all that stuff has really made my training pretty challenging to be honest. I feel like, you know, stopping at stoplights, you know, talking and going around pedestrians or waiting for them, slowing down, whatever. Uh, and then the whole thing of like having to climb up hills all the time and go down hills and maintain my speed all the time. All that stuff has really just destroyed the distance I can cover. So I went on Google Maps last night and I was just kind of trying to track out some distances and using where I kind of already go, but try to extend it somewhere. And there's one kind of direction that kind of stays within more of a valley and doesn't hit either old roads without sidewalks or bike lanes or uh, rolls up too many hills. I wish I had a path that was, you know, the full 26 miles um, or more uh, that I could train on. I was close to my house. I didn't have too many hills or, you know, obviously no cars and stuff, but I just, it gets really tough to, to train in the city uh, or neighborhoods, I guess. Yeah, so I don't know. That's just my thoughts so far on this marathon training. Uh, I guess by doing this, it'll hopefully make my training, make me over trained for my actual event, but I guess we'll find out. Also to note today, I have taken uh, some of your guys' advice on things to do when training for a marathon or when skating a marathon. And one of those is carry some stuff with you. Uh, that's why I'm just gonna rock this pack. It's not the best, you know, marathon pack, but it's what I got. Uh, it's got a water bladder in it, so huge, especially since it's going to be supposed to be in the 90s today. So I'm getting out uh, sort of early. It's still gonna get pretty warm toward the end of this gate. But I got some water in the front pouches. You know, I got my phone, my extra batteries. Uh, my wallet, just in case, you know, you knock yourself out or something and people can identify you. Um, what else I got in here? Oh, I got Cliff Bar food. Super important when you're getting on these longer distance skates. And then another thing which I wasn't told, but I just feel, felt like I had the space and it wasn't adding too much weight to my, to my pack. Um, I put some lightweight slippers, not these ones, but you know, something that's just a lightweight slipper uh, in the back um, with my water bladder. When you're going on these longer distances and if something goes wrong with your skates or you just get hurt and you can't skate and you need to put some shoes on to walk, I just feel like it's really important to have have the ability to take your skates, take your skates off and put something like some sandals on. Yeah, that's I think pretty much it.
Beautiful morning. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Just wish it would stay at this temperature all day. Feeling really good so far. This is the first time I've had this backpack on doing a, a longer skate, but you know, it's feeling all right. Uh, so I got one thing to tell you guys. I always just said, oh, I wanna train for a marathon. I wanna do a marathon probably at the end of the summer, fall time. Well, I've selected that marathon and uh, it's gonna be the North Shore Marathon in Duluth. Uh, really excited about it, really kind of scared because it's uh, something I've never done before. But really excited for it, I think I can do it. The only scarier part than actually doing the marathon is the fact that I am going to be creating a video during it. <laughs> and uh, that's why I'm training with, starting to train with this uh, GoPro on longer distance skates because you know every little ounce counts when you're getting those high higher miles in and I just want to train the way it's gonna be but I'm not looking to try to do some crazy time in it I just want to really go there capture the experience of it uh, you know just meet some of the uh, other rollerblade pros maybe that are actually in the elite marathon uh, group if you will I don't know what the, the lingo of it is exactly but uh, you know get some tips talk to them just experience a whole new world I've never experienced before. If you guys uh, are planning on being at the North Shore Marathon, please let me know in the comments below because uh, I would love to meet up and say hey. And you know, maybe if you're in the in the, the newbie bracket like me and uh, aren't afraid to you know just take it easy and just complete it, uh, maybe we could hook up and you know skate it together. That'd be fun. But uh, anyway, that's enough talking. Let's keep going. The end of the line. I was hoping they might have extended it and connected the rest of the uh, trail this way. By now it's been a couple of years, but they haven't, probably because of COVID. That's okay. <clears throat> That's what I kind of expected or planned for. It's just a little under halfway. We're at 7.2 miles right now. And you know, I'm feeling pretty good, actually. I'm feeling really good. Only thing that's, uh, you know, starting to get a little, a little sore and tired is my, uh, my lower back. I think it's, I mean, it always gets a little, you know, irritable, but I think it's because I got a pack on today and I'm really trying to focus on doing some more film work uh, instead of just body position and just having a lower energy, energy exertion. But, you know, this is what I'm gonna do in the real marathon, so I gotta train start training like this and get used to it. 
Uh, the other thing that makes it really tough is the fact that uh, I got I got two hands and it's hard to take this thing out of my pocket, which is tight already, to pause it every time I gotta stop at a stoplight. Uh, so I'm missing a lot of stoplights that I'm just burning time on. So uh, again, please, when I'm shooting these things, please don't judge the time. Just go, just look at the distance that I'm doing. <laughs> Um, I think one of my training days, I'm hoping to get out to the uh, Columbia River Gorge, the historic trail again, because it's like this. There's more hills, but you're under a lot of big trees and just you're in the Columbia River Gorge, one of the, which is one of the most beautiful spots in Oregon. If you haven't seen it and you're out here, go check it out. Going back is going to be a little bit tougher. I probably won't shoot quite as much because uh, there's a lot more uphill. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be too bad though. Yeah, we got a, we got a long way to go to get to 18. We got about a little over 10 miles left. <sighs> All right, I think we got this, let's go. distance marathon skating that I've been doing has inspired a few of you to get out there and try it. Uh, I'll tell you what, the first few sessions, they're rough, but man, once you get into the swing of things and find your flow, find the music to just lose yourself in, uh, have a good skate setup that is enjoyable for a long distance, it's really quite a fun thing like it's actually kind of addictive uh just pushing yourself each time like another mile or two uh, and just staying on that constant battle with yourself and your distances is a really good way to push yourself and get a really good workout in uh, i know i've seen a couple of you on instagram or YouTube say that you're starting to maybe try some more longer distance stuff, like get off those aggressive blades or, you know, get off the urban skates and get something that's really meant to just go straight and fast and far. Uh, you know, inline skating is not just about jumping, grinding, and doing some wizardy bits on flat pavement. Uh, there is a whole different world of challenge and enjoyment by just pushing yourself the distance but you kind of have to get mentally in that space like I said find your music find your flow get into it get into the rhythm and then it's like once you're in it you can't wait to get out there and you know do another mile or two on your next session so anyway hope hopefully this experience of mine has inspired a few of you to strap on some bigger wheels or longer frames and get out there Do 26 miles, 26.6 with uh, 
no brakes, no stops. Got a long way to go to get there. We are currently sitting at 15 and a half miles, just about. Pretty good, actually. Um, that's only a mile away from my longest skate to date. I think, you know, a real key to making the miles go by faster is to always pick sort of a new route, but really happy I brought Cliff Bar with me today. Ah, uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right. I don't think I need the whole thing right now. I also don't want to sit for too long. I'll tell you one thing though, having water on my back has been such a blessing on this trip. Totally worth the extra weight. All right, let's get this thing started again. Let's go. Let's go. There we are. I think that's it. Let's go ahead and check. <sighs> Ooh, a little bonus. We're at 19.3. Go ahead and pause that. There it is. I think 26 is starting to look a little bit more doable, but still got a ways to go. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these, these videos. I'm not trying to do them every week, but uh, I'm gonna sneak them in here and there just to show you where I'm at with my training. Uh, if you do like it, let me know in the comments below. Uh, as always guys, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and make sure you ring that bell if you, so you don't miss any of these episodes. I can't even say my own line because I'm getting tired. But uh, until next time guys, just keep rolling. <laughs>